So we are approaching the end of not just Dragon Ball Super, but the Tournament of Power arc, and there's been a few very interesting twists and turns in this thing. I was not expecting Gohan to go out so soon, or the way that he did, but I want to talk about Vegeta, and I want to talk about the future of, of how this tournament could play out. We're going to give our little predictions here about what may happen you know, in the next few episodes of Super. As of right now, there are about six episodes of Super left, and they have to cram in the end of the tournament, the wish, and whatever the finale is going to be of the series with a lot of, you know, unanswered questions possibly, but we'll get to that when the episodes air. I don't really want to criticize them yet until they actually air. But I want to talk about what could happen with Vegeta and Topo, not just this weekend on Dragon Ball Super, but also going forward. So joining me, please welcome back. He was on the channel like yesterday or the day before, depending on whether I decided to upload this, when I decided to upload this. Please welcome back MJ. Welcome back. Didn't I just talk to you like a minute ago or a couple days ago? Yeah, something like that. Thank you for having me back, bro. <laughs> Here's a little hint for y'all. YouTubers pre-record their videos sometimes days in advance, but I'm sure most of you already know that. So let's talk about Vegeta and Topo. I was talking to you through text, and you had this interesting twist because I think people are assuming that it's going to be Jiren against Vegeta and Goku, and I think some people have even theorized that Vegeta could end up being the last guy, that he could end up actually being the winner, but you have a little bit of a different perspective, and I kind of am slowly starting to like kind of agree with you on it in the sense of it makes sense based on what we know uh, and we are going to get into some very 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 light spoilers here okay very light spoilers um about the upcoming episode specifically 127 so just giving everybody a warning here but you believe that vegeta and topo are the next ones to go out you don't think that vegeta's gonna eliminate topo and go fight jiren again you think that vegeta is out in episode 126 yeah, I think Transform Topo or Hakaishin Topo, whatever you prefer to call him, is probably going to be a lot to handle. And Vegeta in his new form, I think is a perfect person to go up against him. But I don't think he's, how do you say, <laughs> leaving this fight alive, if you will, even though he's just going to the bleachers. <laughs> how do you foresee it happening, though? Um, do you foresee Vegeta actually... Because, you know, the thing about the episode is that, you know, it's the life-risking attack. It's like, you know, Vegeta's going to do something that might end up risking his life. How do you think it's going to play out to where Topo goes out and Vegeta? It's hard to say because, I mean, I've seen people theorize that life-risking attack. They've been thinking of the, what is it, the final explosion? Or, you know, where he risks his life against Boo. I don't where think he that's... blew himself up against Majin yeah. Buu and, and failed. <laughs> I don't think that's happening. I, I mean, if if they do, that would be a very ballsy move considering we know that the series is ending. I don't think they would do that, though. I think it's probably going to go down similar to what happened with Dispo and uh, Gohan. I'm predicting what might what may happen is that Goku's going to come to the realization that, hey, these guys are really freaking powerful and 17 cannot get eliminated. We need to win with the numbers. Go help out 17. I'll try and hold down Jiren until like the last five minutes or something like that. You know what I mean? I think that's what's going to happen. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. Plus, I think it's a nice character moment for Goku because his whole time, Goku has just been like, I need to get strong. I need to beat this dude. I want to fight you one-on-one. -on -one. For him to kind of come to that, I guess, cell-like realization where, okay, I can't beat this dude. We got to beat the clock instead, you know? Yeah, we have to win by strategy versus just me wanting to fight all the time and basically be Goku. You know, oh, I love fighting, I love yeah. fighting. So, all right, if Vegeta and Topo are out in 126, that leaves us with Frieza, who is unconscious, 17, Jiren, and Goku. First of all, just the idea that 17 would be there till the very end, I mean, brother... They really have been pushing 17 in this arc. I mean, they gave him so much shine. I I'm just very impressed by that. But the idea of 17 going out in episode 127 makes sense based on that provisional league title that talks about the final barrier, you know, with the barrier being 17's, tech or 17's a move. So you think Jiren will take out 17 in 127? correct i think so yeah and it's crazy bro to think that we could possibly could possibly see jiren versus 17 that that's wild <laughs> you know poor 17 does not stand a chance bro yeah if if topo can crack that barrier 17 and dude, dude i think people forget look if topo can crack that barrier dude jiren was able to crack a barrier of time he was able to supersede time so you know in the episode against hit uh, 111. So, no, like, it's going to be a wash. 
Now, um, that would then leave us with Frieza and Goku against Jiren, which I know a lot of folks thought would happen. Frieza, of course, being knocked out. Um, how do you see... Okay, first of all, how do you see... You think that Ultra Instinct Goku's coming back in episode 128? Like, we're going to see him power up again? I think so. I think with what happens with 17. And see, I feel like going back at it, like... This is the one thing I will give this arc, bro, is that they're kind of making things come full circle. Whether it's the Whis's training, whether it's uh, Frieza taking on that Hakai. Because remember, that wasn't in the manga. The whole versus the assassins that was not in the manga, and it was in the anime. And I thought it was just filler, but they're trying to make it come full circle. I, That's right. I think those two, it was two episodes, right? Two episodes with Goku and Seventeen. And That's right. Every time, bro, remember, how many times did the android save Goku in this arc? Like, what, two or three? So the yeah. the fact that 17 may get taken out, maybe like in a sacrifice, or he may jump in and take a blast for Goku, I think that may sort of put Goku in that position where, okay, Frieza's out. I don't know where the hell that dude's at. He's out. 17's gone. Vegeta's gone. It's going to push him into that corner, which we know what will happen. He's going to awaken UI, and then that'll be UI Goku versus Jiren until... I'm presuming... I'm presuming 130 is going to be, like, the final fight of the tournament because it makes sense, 130. And then 131 will be, obviously, the wish and the closing moments of the series, you know? So, okay, well, how do you see Frieza fitting into all this? Because... Based on what you told me, they could go a number of different ways. Number one, Goku beats Jiren, and then Frieza um, and Goku are the last two. Or Goku and Frieza team up against Jiren somehow. Like, they do something to where Goku does something, and Frieza sacrifices himself for the win. Or, or not, like, death, but, you know, does something yeah. that's, you know, selfless for the win to let Goku win. Or do you see possibly it playing out to where... Goku and Jiren double eliminate themselves and then Frieza is declared the winner. Knocked out Frieza. In other words, they do the Santino Morella spot from the 2011 <laughs> Royal Rumble, bro. That they, they tease that in the 2011 Royal Rumble. Do you think that that's possible there? That Goku and Jiren knock each other out and then Frieza's the winner? And I always thought that Frieza winning is the most interesting storyline they can go in, but now that we know the series is ending, they can't really play up that storyline unless it's going to be like a one-note gag. You know, the idea of Frieza getting the wish is the worst, you know, the worst possible thing that could happen for you universe seven um what do you think about that i to be honest bro with us finding out that the series is going to end i've kind of already written off the possibility of frieza even winning this thing but if he i have two in my brain but i'm just based on what you're telling <laughs> what you're telling me you know to be honest bro even though people are not gonna like this they, i'm sure people are probably gonna hate this which i can understand why at this current point in time with the realization that this arc is going to end we know People are going to be dropping like flies, bro. We know that. People are going to be getting eliminated like each ep episode. And with that being said, I don't think we're going to get any of that, oh, I want to control the Zenos, I want to do this. What may happen, bro, he may just get beaten straight up, plain and simple by Jiren. Or or he, or what I, what I really hope doesn't happen, which I, I really hope this does not happen, is he gets... He gets the win, like we talked about. Goku and Jiren double eliminate themselves, freezes the winner, and then he wishes to take over Top to take over Zeno's spot or the Grand Prix spot, and then the Zenos just, just delete him and erase him. That would be like the worst. That would be a waste of time, if you ask me, for a little gag that meant nothing. And I could see it happening because they erased Frost. They deleted Frost. They could just delete Frieza. And boy, is that going to irritate Jamie. Super Mega <laughs> Frieza will not like that. My perfect... And I'm not going to like it either. <laughs> My perfect... Yeah, because that would be a waste of time. My perfect scenario, bro, honestly, would be that even though I kind of don't want this to happen, but realistically thinking if Goku beats Jiren like in 130 and that's like the cliffhanger you know where Goku finally beats like this overcome this over powerful war or whatever he finally overcame it if that's what happens in 130 and then in like 129 or one or in the beginning of 130 Frieza just got beat by Jiren plain and simple he tried to challenge him and he lost if that happens this would be my perfect way to write him off so we know Frieza's been using so much power at the end in 131 right when everyone goes home at the end, Fortune Teller Baba shows up, you know, hey, you used up all your time, you know what I mean? If that even still counts, whatever, you know. Right. He used up all his power like Goku did as a Super Saiyan 3. You know, Freeze is walking off with Baba and Goku goes, hey, you've been a big help. You helped us with Ani Raza. You helped us with this and that. I can wish you back with the Namek Balls. And then Freeze smirks, I don't need help from a monkey. And then he walks off. And the reason why I like that is because... Even though he didn't do what I wanted him to do, he was still useful in some regard, and he's still a bit of a prick at the same time. You know what I mean by saying I don't need a monkey's help. You know what I mean, and that's the way to write him off to get him. Yeah, but he but that doesn't make sense only because he he told him he was going to get wish back. Remember that was part of the deal. 
Yeah, you know, but that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, why would Frieza tell him no if that was part of the original deal? Because he didn't actually win the tournament. You know, you get my point there. Kind of like where Goku's kind of being a pity call. Where I'll just wish you back if you want me to, even though you didn't win or you didn't, you know, win the tournament or whatever. I mean, maybe. I think they would have to have a real good reason for yeah. them for Frieza to say that. I mean, it would have to be something. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, I know some people think that Frieza might end up being God of Destruction in mm-hmm. uh, some of the dead universes or something. I have no idea. It's going to be interesting to see where it goes. So. Let us know in the comments, of course, uh, where you think this is going to go. The big finale of the Dragon Ball Super Tournament of Power arc and Dragon Ball Super as a whole. And uh, I'm going to do another video discussing whether or not it should end in a cliffhanger and will it end in a cliffhanger. I'll probably be doing that very soon. But uh, thanks, MJ, for being here. Yeah, man. It's always a pleasure. All right. We'll talk to you all later on.